The reaction to Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler's new proposed camping ban mixed among service providers. So many are relieved to see the mayor taking what they call a more humane approach, but some are still concerned that the whole plan is still too vague. Brandon Thompson going on the headlines and you're speaking directly to the people who help the homeless and how do they feel about this new plan? Well, there's an issue that they take with one word in the proposed ordinance. It says it bans camping if there is reasonable access to shelter, but it's leaving these organizations to ask what does reasonable mean when even the mayor himself admitted to coin last night there are not enough shelter beds for the thousands of people who are homeless in the city. For the women who seek help at the Rosehaven Day Shelter, the stress they feel is evident to the people that help them. The camping bans always affect our work because it puts people on edge and it creates a culture of fear. The first attempt was temporarily blocked by a court. This week, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler put out a new draft ban. To the relief of those who work with people who are homeless, it's less restrictive and less strict. The ban keeps restrictions on fires, heaters, digging trash and creating structures. The new ban, though, has a more narrow definition of camping, only prohibiting it in rights of way, private property, and at entrances to businesses. But the phrase service providers take issue with is banning camping for someone who has access to, quote, reasonable shelter. I don't want to see a time where all we have as reasonable shelter are mats on the ground in a community space and someone either have a consequence of jail time or that mat on the ground. We have people coming here every single day asking our social workers to place them into shelter and we're hearing that the waste, there's wait lists and the shelters are full. The punishments in the new proposal are reduced to a $100 fine, a week in jail or both. But Starkey and Delahanty argued that's too much for a city that does not have enough shelter or housing for the people who need it. And if you have additional fees to pay and legal issues and appointments to get to when you may not even have a phone or an address, that's only going to make your road to recovery more difficult. There's not enough shelter beds. There's not enough substance use recovery options for people. And then it all goes all the way down to affordable housing. So Coyne spoke to Mayor Ted Wheeler last night about this, where he said this gives the city the law enforcement tools to keep sidewalks and some public spaces clear. And he says the longer that someone is on the street, the more likely it is that they will suffer from issues of behavioral health or substance use disorder. So, yeah, just to be clear, those sidewalks then uh, where people need to get down, those will still be clear. Yeah, that's right? one of the things designated in the ordinance that there is no camping allowed in those public right of ways. Okay, Brandon, we know you'll follow this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah.